Maybe this has happened to you before. You're having your first conversation with a stunning woman who's captured your attention in every way. You tell her about your lucrative career. You slip into the conversation that you studied at a prestigious university. When you lift your arm to sip your drink, you flex your biceps hoping she'll notice. When you part, she gives you a one-armed hug while turning her face away, tells you how interesting you are, and that she hopes you'll meet again. And that's the last time you ever see her. You can't wrap your wits round it. She lost interest in you, despite you putting on your best show. And the truth of the matter is, you could have leaped tall buildings with a single bound or walked on water with the same result. And I am going to explain why this happens and how you can prevent this from happening again in this short video. By the end of our little talk, you'll know what to do to change your luck with women and learn some basics on how the mind works at the same time. I'm Mary Tandry, and you are watching Trom Talk on the YouTube channel DIY Salvation. Our purpose is to educate the public on a little-known study called the Resolution of the Mind, also known as Trom. Trom is self-studied, self-applied, and 100% free to our viewers. So don't worry, I'm not about to sell you on some lame, feel-good seminar, retreat, or expensive course. What you need to know is right in this video, so make sure to view it in its entirety. Life is driven by one's intentions, purposes and goals. In Trom, we call these postulates. Some people get tripped up on this word. So if you want to say when you postulate something, you intend it. Or when you have a postulate, you have a purpose or goal, you can think of it that way if that's easier for you. Dennis Stevens, the one who researched and developed Trom discovered that life operates on four basic postulates which are to know, to not know, to be known, to not be known. Now of course, these aren't the only possible postulates. When you want a new car, you are postulating. When you want to forget something, you are also making a postulate. When you need to get someone's attention, you are making a postulate. When you want to hide from someone, you are also making a postulate. But no matter what postulate you make, or in other words, whatever you intend, at least one of those four postulates is involved. Wanting that new car means you want to know the car. Wanting to forget something means you want to not know it. Needing attention means you want to be known, and hiding means you want to be not known. Knowing these four postulates and how they interact will help you understand the mind and life, so it also stands to reason that knowing about postulates, or intentions, will also improve your skills with the opposite sex, and I'll explain how. When you see a stunning woman who captures your attention to the point you think about her even when she's not there, it's not just because of her makeup, hairstyle, clothing and the shape of her body. It's her postulate, or intention, that she be known, and it's taken to an extreme that she must be known. She's playing a game to get yours and everyone else's attention. She makes herself very interesting. But this extreme of attention getting carries with it another postulate, in that she not only must be known to others, but at the same time, she is not knowing others. In other words, she is so bent on being interesting, that she's not interested. You come along and try to get her attention, and you are going to fail. Because when you show off and brag about how wonderful you are, instead of being impressed, she will be upset that you aren't agreeing with her postulate that she be known. It's the biggest, most common mistake men make with women, on this most common type of woman. But here's something about postulates that will work in your favor in this situation. When you agree with someone's postulate, you will wear it down and can possibly even make it vanish. After all, most people once they get what they want, they lose interest in it. So instead of engaging in this competition with her to get her attention while she is trying to get yours, just pay attention to her, or in other words, postulate or intend to know her. And since she is also postulating to not know you, say as little about yourself as possible, 
and keep it that way until you are sure you've worn down her postulate that she must be known. Once her postulates wear down, she now has the freedom to change them and that will dissolve the game she was playing with you, which leads to a more balanced communication. I won't guarantee this will turn you into some Casanova, but I will guarantee that if you continue trying to get the attention of women who are bent on getting it themselves, you'll continue to fail. The woman who is postulating, or intending she must be known, is not the only kind there is. So you're not going to handle every woman this way. In the next video in the Trump Talk series on dating, sex and relationship advice for men, we'll talk about the woman who must not be known, and in the video titled What the Teaser, the player and hard to get all have in common will summarize all the types of men and women there are. For now, take a moment to download the book Trump 2023 from the video's description, and also you can visit the Start Here playlist on this channel to learn more about Trump which helps with your mental balance, perceptions, and clarity of thought, which can only lead to your happiness, whether you find the girl of your dreams or not. I'm Mary Tandry. You are watching the Trum Talk series on the YouTube channel DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.